Hey guys, Brian Davis here. I'm going to do a quick video overview and review of how Stessa works for managing your rental property financials and accounting data. So when you first log in, you'll see a dashboard that gives you a quick high level overview of how your portfolio looks, how it's performing. So portfolio value, return on investment, your occupancy rates, income, mortgage debt, number of properties and units. You can see a visual of your monthly cash flow, where your properties lie on a map, you can compare different properties and their performance. So a nice high level overview of what your portfolio looks like in that moment. Now you can drill down a little further here into the different properties and portfolios. So for properties, you can see, of course, occupancy, acquisition price, market value, loan balance, equity, a number of units for each. And of course you can edit all of this. You can go and add another property here to your portfolio. We'll just do a quick uh, example for how this looks. So we'll do 2106 Bank Street in Baltimore and it will pull up some of the public record data for that property. So not only information from your local government's public records, but also information from Zillow. Things like uh, square footage and baths and photos and the, the Zestimate, you know, Zillow's estimate of the property's value. So it will pull all of that up for you. And then when you click this button, it will ask you to add a little bit more information manually and approve uh, some of the things or, or verify some of the things that it pulled for you automatically. Now, going back here to the, the properties page, you can add multiple portfolios to your account. So for example, if you are a landlord and have a few properties in this one LLC over here, and then you have you know three or four more properties in this other LLC over here, you can use different portfolios to keep your LLC property data separate. And that makes it a little easier for your accounting, especially come tax time. Uh, or if you are a property manager and have multiple clients, you can have separate portfolios for each client. Again, helps keep this a little bit easier for keeping your financials separate. Now moving on to leases and tenants, this is where you can add tenancy information, for example, the tenant's name, rent amount that they're paying, security deposit, when they moved in, when their current lease term expires. If the market rent is different than what they are currently paying, then that might be interesting to know as well and have here. So you can also have your documents for each property on here as well. And let's jump down here to the document section and explain how this works real quick. So you can upload any document for any property, things like lease agreements, uh, move in, move out condition checklists, uh, addenda, disclosures, home inspection reports, appraisals when you first buy a property, your mortgage documentation, important stuff, right? Uh, insurance policies. So all of this kind of documentation you want to be able to keep for each property without necessarily having it saved only on your hard drive, which of course can crash as most of us have experienced at one time or another, uh, and without having to have a, a hard copy somewhere stored in an enormous file cabinet. So. Uh, it's a great way to keep this document both stored off-site securely and to have it organized for each property. Now, the real meat and potatoes here for Stessa's service is its financial transaction data. So you can enter income and expenses. So for example, you can see I have a uh, rent payment recorded here and I have connected a partner's mortgage account to this just for sake of example. <laughs> so you can see the mortgage payments paid here and listed to Chase. Now let's jump down here and just show exactly what this looks like. So one of the places where Stessa excels is importing your financial data automatically from your financial accounts. Now financial accounts could mean your mortgage account. So you can see I have this mortgage account connected here to one of these properties. You can also connect bank accounts for your, your operating checking accounts for each property. So for example, let's say that you use Bank of America for your operating checking accounts for your properties and LLCs. All you have to do is log in once to your Bank of America account through Stessa and it will link the account to your, your property. You can assign it to a specific property and have it import data from then on. So things like when rents are deposited or you write in a thousand dollar check for a maintenance or repair expense, uh, that all gets imported automatically and added to your transactions data. Now, sometimes you need to go in and manually clean up some of that transaction data. So you can see on here, 
you know, sometimes it will ask you to choose the category. If it doesn't know automatically what the category is, you can also choose the property that it's for. So you know, one quick gripe here is that when I first added one property to the account and then I added one mortgage account, it did not automatically assign the two. I had to go in and manually uh, assign them myself. And then even after assigning them, it did not retroactively go back and assign the different transactions to that property, uh, which would have been nice if it had done that, but you know, it's a small quibble. Transactions from that point forward do get automatically assigned to the right property and you can do things. It's easy to just select the property and clean up this data and when you want to go in and make sure that your data is ready to be exported, which is exactly one of the things that Stessa does where it excels is its reports. So income statements, cash flow statements, expense statements, and best of all, this tax package statement that makes it really easy for you to go in, whether you are a DIY a tax preparer for yourself or whether you have an accountant who prepares your taxes for you, tax package makes it easy to just plug the numbers right in to the line items on your tax return. So one area where Stessa truly does shine here. Now they also have a few extra resources here for tax time, things like overview of tax deductions for rental properties, tax checklists for rental properties, you know, guides for rental property taxes. So you get the you get the idea here. You know, this is very much a useful resource for accounting and taxes. Now Stessa is free, which is awesome. <laughs> the price is certainly right. Now it's not a property management software, right? It's not like your Appfolio or Buildium that does everything for you, including tracking your accounting and income and expenses. Uh, but it does do one thing and it does it well and it does it free. Now where Stessa makes their money is actually through affiliate partners, things like mortgage lenders, insurance providers. So they will recommend some of these additional third-party services periodically for you. And that's how they make their money is from these affiliate referral fees. And what I like about this is, of course, that they have a great product here that's free, but I also like the fact that they're not trying to ram certain non-necessary expenses down your throat. They are partnered with services that you're going to need anyway as a landlord, right? You, you need property insurance for your rental properties no matter what. So Stessa will provide you with one option or um, several options. And if you don't like those, you can, of course, use someone else, but they're not trying to push unnecessary uh, third-party partners on you. So one other quibble here, it would be nice if they offered online rent collection to keep this all in-house in one place. So not only are they tracking the rents that come in, but they're also processing those payments for you. It'd be nice, but again, you know, Stessa is not in that business. They're in the accounting and financial tracking business. So all in all, it's a great service. It's free. So let us know what you think. Give it a shot. You know, take it out for a spin and get back to us here at RE Tipster and let us know what your experiences are and how you feel about it. So I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of Stessa Service.